So we still have the bunting out everywhere during the Jubilee, despite the downbeat weather in London. Along with other artists, I'm exhibiting my work in King's Road that wet weekend of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee as an art fair in Chelsea Old Town Hall. I'd always found my British flag London cityscapes were popular online with my American buyers, but following Friday night's reception, I replenished my stand with two other Union Jack showcase for the rest of the Untitled Artists Fair. British people are apparently feeling stirred by a bit of red, white and blue too in 2012. I want to cheer people up with my drawings and make you smile. Aren't you fed up with work from artists who often get paid by institutions to shock us with their depressing visuals? Artists should be instead as servants really, bringing an essence of the blessing into their buyers' homes through their artistic gift, something rich and good that brings happiness. That's why sales, I believe, really do equate to artistic success. The work I get to see from one artist at the fair does it for me, and hers is my favourite out of everyone's. What have you sold? Show us uh, what you sold. So half, so half, and it's a little. <laughs> I've sold oh. the little kids, look. Oh, not so Gorgeous. <laughs> Your painting Thank is you. lovely. That's photography. That's photography? Yeah. Those two were fighting in front of me and they locked horns and I caught the. Uh, and, uh, and then, but then I had some images of snow, so I blended That's that. That's photography. Yeah. I thought it was a painting. Well, no, it's a bit. It's, just, it's half and it's half because right? I yeah. do watercolour washes and photograph oh. them and layer it and, oh, and do I the see. lot. So it's a big mixture. Yeah. And so, and the flamingos, which is my favourite. Uh, which one? This one here. Yeah. This is called in the steam room at the Flamingo Club, the debate over the lost soap. Oh, how funny! But well, they made me laugh because look, it was just a look on that. Those two, and they're like dowagers, you know, in the old. So there's about 20 layers of uh, images on that to try and get that effect of the steam and light and, and watercolour washes and everything. The frame just so complicated. How can people buy your artwork? With money. Yeah, where do they go? <laughs> How do they contact you? Oh, I don't know what to say. I've got a website. Oh, you do? I okay. do, I do. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. www.paulinefowlerphotography.co.uk Okay. I felt that Pauline invoked through her techniques the higher realm behind those photographic scenes and to me brought us those creatures in their original perpetual state bursting with life. I can see boutique galleries one day where you can go see and buy artist work like this that has been hand-picked not simply to impress some highbrow panel but for you the visitor and buyer and in the meantime, I can go on with producing my own work, which I hope continues, when purchased, to bolster the kind of pleasurable setting I think regular people want in their homes with the help of upbeat artwork. I really did have fun at the art fair, meeting all those dripping wet visitors after their rainy pageant, and being around all the other artists. This is my neighbour, Teresa. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gosh, you made those people so happy with your print. It was amazing. Oh, they they were, looked really happy. They did. They were smiling away you know, oh. as they took it home. That's well awesome. done. That's really good. That's what I do. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's see some of your work. Yours is for children. For children, young people, yeah. I like people with younger hearts. One thing I've got to say, don't you think my Buckingham Palace art, which I drew back in 2008, uncannily brings to mind how the projectors lit that facade during the Jubilee concert? <laughs>